G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, just what I think I've got it figured out and I know what's going to happen. Cryptocurrencies reminds me, nobody knows what's going to happen. <laughs> so this was 400 billion only a couple of days ago. Uh, and I said I would be surprised if I saw it going under 380 billion again. And well, here we go. Then just last night I said, you know, I can see this getting down to around about 358 billion if we get around to the $10,500 level and we're down to 340 billion. So, wow, 60 billion. No, actually, yeah, that's 340. So yeah, $60 billion uh, wiped out in, you know, just the last couple of days. That's cryptocurrencies for you. If you can't handle it, then this is definitely not the place for you. You don't make the amazing gains from cryptocurrencies without these massive losses. Now, yes, this hurt, and I, like most people, uh, have you know, taken a hit to the back pocket, but I'm still in profit overall. Again, I got back in fairly heavily after the March crash, so really, uh, Bitcoin would have to drop down to you know, below 7,000 before I would start to, you know, be bleeding into some money. My average sort of buy-in price would be around, yeah, I don't know, $6,000 or something like that for Bitcoin. But geez, my altcoins took an even bigger hit. Uh, and that's the thing. Bitcoin is the least volatile of cryptocurrencies, but you can see how volatile it is. But wow, some of my alts just got absolutely smashed. Let's see if there were any gainers. I mean, there were in 24 hours. Tether, <laughs> well done, Tether. 0.1%, great effort. I should have my money in Tether. All right, here we go. In the last 24 hours, there has been some winners. So Tron, Paxos Gold, Stable Coins, they've basically all done the best, uh, you know, other than Tron. Tron have had a bit of good news lately. So yeah, interesting. But outside of the stable coins, everything's generally taking a hit. Well, there you go. Let's go back here. Get to not number 100, number one. All right, so let's go uh, and have a look at the actual chart. So here I was, again, not 24 hours ago, thinking, is this pattern here basically repeating itself? And it did look like it was very, very similar until this. And bang, I did say at some stage I expected us, uh, well, not so much expected it, I said I wouldn't be surprised if we came down and tested the uh, $10,500 level. Well, we sailed right through that. And what did we get down to? So what is that? 9,000. It dropped below the $10,000 level. But there is some good news. While the $10,500 uh, didn't end up as support, we have used the 100 day moving average of support at the moment. Now it is Friday, we got the weekend coming up, things could get a bit rocky and we could drop down even further. And I know a lot of people are worried at the moment and look, no, I'm not worried, I'm actually not worried. I won't be worried unless we drop below this. So really it's we go below the 200 day moving average, then I'll be concerned. At the moment, we've bounced off the 100. We've, well, not quite bounced off it, but we seem to be using this as a little bit of support now. But we're still outside this trend line. We have broken outside of that. Could we see some more downside sort of, you know, slightly traveling down here? And again, maybe even to here. It's a distinct possibility. But I'm still bullish overall in cryptocurrencies. Because as I said uh, in a number of videos, zoom out. This is the daily charts. This looks horrible and it's all over the place and you're going oh who can read that all of a sudden we zoom out a little bit this doesn't seem all that bad i'm not saying it couldn't get a little bit worse but that was a whole lot worse we've done things like this before this was even worse this over here was worse this all the way down to here kept going this was worse. So it's not panic stations just yet, just yet. We all need to relax. This is crypto. It's done this before. If you're freaking out and panicking, just try to relax. I'm, you know, I mean, I'm not giving any financial advice. I'm just giving you my personal advice. Yes, if you've bought in at any stage here, this is going to hurt. But you've got to understand the markets. Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, it does this regularly. This is what is part of a new emerging market. The prices fluctuate all over the place. But 
Have we still not been moving up from here? Yes, the trend is we are still heading upwards. And even if we come down and we test this 200 day moving average, which Bitcoin is known to do in bull markets, in bull markets, when things are good, Bitcoin is known to test the 200 day moving average. So even if we were to come down and test the 200 day moving average, we're still in a bull market. It is an uptrend, but yes, there are going to be retracements. I mean, this was pretty big from here. It's basically just been up and there's not been any real severe retracements. Until this day, this was a pretty severe one. We had a little bit over here and now we've had this. But the 100 day moving average seems to be sort of holding pretty well. And what we can do, and again, we need to zoom out a little bit. The daily candles, they can really confuse people. Let's move off the daily. Let's have a look, look what the weekly is telling us. still an upward trend green week green week green week green week one red one green one red and soon we'll find out where we're, whether we're going to have another green let's zoom out again so let's not even look at the weekly what's the monthly now telling us we've had a number of green months one little red red month here and this month is, uh, you know, only just started. So this is a lot of red, but we've still got a long way to go that this could actually still turn green. I'm not saying it's going to turn green, but it's the 4th of September. We've got right through to the 30th of September for this still to end up being a green candle. So it's still quite possible at good. But the bigger picture is we broke out of this, uh, you know, out of this wedge and to the upside of the wedge, not the downside. So we can just relax a little bit. And this could sort of trade sort of sideways and even keep coming down to this point out here. So again, really 8,000 sort of 200. The, the average price of Bitcoin for a number of years now has been from 8,000 sort of 300, let's say, to 5,900. So that's been the average price for the last three years. We are above the average price and we still have a long way to go before we'd even come down and test the average price. So it's not all panic stations just yet. But could we be in for some more short term pain? Yes, unfortunately we can. And that's where I go back to the daily candles. I don't like to use uh, the smaller candles because I'm, I'm not a sort of day trader and things like that. And I don't do leverage and all the rest of it. But it's definitely possible we could see a little bit more uh, downside to this. But let's just see, maybe we're going to hold this 100 day moving average. Maybe we just trade sideways, but on the upside of this uh, trading pattern, and we've still got plenty of time. So we've got to over here to turn this, uh, to turn that monthly candle into green. Absolutely can be done. Remember this? Look at that. This was in a couple of days. It dropped plenty, but then within a week or so, it's already starting to make its way back up. And it took from, so what was this, like the 12th of March? 29th of April, before all those, well, I suppose, that's going from there. Let's go from around about here. So let's say the 7th of March through to about the 7th of May. So that's two months it took for people to recoup uh, their money. So it may be that it takes us two months to recoup, you know, anyone who's invested up here. It may not. We could, you know, smash back up. And anyway, I don't want to go on too much about this. We've had a look. It's not all doomsday just yet. But let's have a look at some things. So here's three reasons uh, why Bitcoin might have dropped below 11,000. So number one. We are now in sync with traditional markets. And I'll further touch on this, but it wasn't just Bitcoin that's taken uh, turn to the downside. The S&P 500 did as well, and so did gold. All three of them have done similar things. Just because Bitcoin's so volatile, it had a bigger slide. But the S&P 500's down, gold is down. This is what happens. There's been a new surge uh, in people getting back into the American dollar at the moment. The US uh, dollar broke some trend lines. And everybody got back in. Bitcoin got pulled down because of DeFi uh, unwinding. 
Now, I don't know whether DeFi is unwinding, but it wouldn't surprise me if people are taking profits. That's what people do. And people who've been in DeFi for a while and made 5X and 6X and 10X and 100X, whatever, at some stage, they're going to take some profits. And particularly big sort of whales, they have you know the most of their money in there. They watch the markets very closely and if the s p 500 and gold and all the rest of it start to you know go down guess what the first thing that they sell is all their bitcoin this is a risky asset so that's what they sell most hence why the swings are so large but i can guarantee you all the whales and you know any institutions that are sold they didn't sell at all they just sold uh to take some profits they're going to buy back in that's what they do that's what the market does they get in, get the pof profits, pull it out, watch the market go down, and then they rebuy back in at a cheaper price. That's what you can do when you're a whale or if you're just a really good trader and you can see it coming. But if you keep an eye on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ and they start to go down, good chance Bitcoin's about to do it. We have been in sync with them for a while and you know that's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Also, miners have probably sold some of their Bitcoin. They've been stocking, stacking it up for a while and they saw that it was around $11,000. Why not take some profit? They can't just mine Bitcoin and not sell it. That's what they have to do. That's how they make their money. They're not regularly selling all of it. They will sell enough to you know, keep the doors open and then they're holding some until the price gets to what they consider the right price. Let's say it was $11,400 and they went, yep, time to sell. And so they sold 11400 and you know now they're mining more waiting for the price to go back up but let's go here and have a look and as i said bitcoin price stocks and gold plunge in tandem what's next so it's not just bitcoin that's gone down it's a whole stack of things gone down all right what's next for bitcoin price is it possible that we fill the cme gap so we can go over here so this is the bitcoin uh future cme gap and we can see we've got a back a gap back here from the sort of roughly nine thousand six hundred to nine thousand seven hundred dollar range, and geez, we went awfully close. We can see we got down to about ten thousand dollars. It hasn't quite filled that gap yet. So what I'm watching for is again, considering it's the weekend, uh, it's Friday here in Australia, and sort of going on Friday morning uh, over in the states and things like that, we might see a bit more of a sell off. Uh, over the weekend and this gap will be filled no guarantees but that's really what I'm looking for are we going to dip down into the $9,600 range and will the CMA, CME gap be filled definitely quite possible I'm hoping that's not the case but it wouldn't surprise me uh, there is every chance we got oh so close uh, and again we'll just have to wait and see all right I don't want to take up too more of too much more of your time you know don't freak out and don't panic if you're in cryptocurrencies you have to just get used to this these kind of dips aren't unusual they are you know somewhat frequent but I'll quickly go back to here you don't get pumps like this in other markets things don't pump up that hard and if we scale right out sorry just give this a moment to load Come on, there we go. Things don't pump like this in a year and a half, two years. Because we've got to remember, this is about a year and... So there we go, August 2015, December 2017. So it's two years and Bitcoin went from $200 to basically $20,000. That is cryptocurrencies for you it will pump that hard but it will dump almost as hard and that is exactly what's happened that's it for me stay safe be kind to one another geez you were lucky if you're on a gain train today because i'm going to say most of us if not all of us are hurting a little bit now and i'll see you next time